What do you make of the ground, horse? Grass? Plain grass. You can see some large foliage there with the mists thinned out. What the... Some kind of wild animal. I hit it. I could see the traces, but it's standing. Come on, Horst. Where are you? Up ahead. Admiring the wild animal. Careful, Horst. Wait for us. Don't worry, Captain. <laughs> it's an iron deer. A lawn ornament. Well, that, that's impossible. Hollow. Interesting, isn't it? A whitewashed Victorian iron deer sitting on a lawn in the middle of Mars. I don't understand. Look around. The mist's lifting. Hey, Captain, look there. It's a house. A regular old-fashioned house. But, sir, on Mars. Good Lord. I haven't seen carved scrolls and gingerbread like that in years. Look at that porch swing. The geraniums. There. I told you it was a rooster, Captain. Give me the glasses, Lustig. I want to take a look through that front window. Well, there's an upright piano. Some sheet music on it. Plastic, it's... It's beautiful Ohio. Yeah. It can't be, sir. Horst, Horst, do you think the civilization of two planets could be identical? I don't know. That specific variety of geraniums is only 50 years old on Earth. Is it logical that they should develop in Mars? How about that porch swing of a piano and, and beautiful Ohio? Why, it's impossible. Captain Black, this looks like the town I was born in. Well, it, it looks like my hometown, too. I thought of something, sir. It's the only solution. Maybe, maybe we're not the first ship to reach Mars from Earth. Don't be ridiculous, Lester. Oh, how else can you explain it? Suppose some scientists got together. They they, they invented some spaceship and, and planted a colony here. That's the only answer. That's impossible, Lester. Been space travel, it couldn't be secret. Do you have any idea what ships cost, what industrial power is needed? No, there's got to be some logical reason. I think perhaps we might find out, Captain. The light just went on in that house. Paste and cover that door with a machine gun. I see. All right, come on, horse. We're going to ring that doorbell. There's got to be a scientific answer to all this. And there's something moving in there. Stand back, horse. Give me a clear shot. Are you sure a bullet can stop a Martian? Steady now. Can I help you? I... Well, we... If you're selling anything, it's much too early. No, 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 wait just a minute. What... What town is this? What do you mean? Are you census takers? No, no. We're strangers here. We want to know how this town got here. Is this a game? No, no, it's not a game. We're from Earth. Do you mean out of the ground? Are you sure you're feeling Madam, well? we came in a flying ship across space. We're from the third planet, Earth. This is Mars. Now do you understand Mars? You go away now, you hear? I'll call my husband from upstairs and he'll chase you. Go on. But this is Mars, isn't it? This is Green Lake, Wisconsin in the United States of America. Bounded on the east by the Atlantic and on the west by the Pacific. Now go away. Goodbye. Horst, do you suppose it's really possible? I've got to find out more about this. I told you I'd call my husband. Now you go away. You've got to tell me one thing first. What year is this? Year? 1928, of course. For goodness sake. You hear that, Horst? And we know it's 1987. And we know this is Mars. Of course, it's possible that we got fouled up, made, made some tremendous blunder, circled around and landed back on Earth. In 1928? Well, maybe some switch in time or dimension. Could we have shifted somehow, gone, gone backward in time? Oh, of course, it, this won't hold water. It's, it's not logical. We've, we, we checked every mile. We went past the moon, out into space. We're, we're on Mars. Lustig out at point. Hasten in the rear. Keep that gun at half low. I said... Of course, there, there's got to be some cold, logical solution. Captain! What? That, uh, that house down the street, the white one with the green shutters. Lustig, what's the matter? I never thought of... I never thought of... Thank God! Lustig! Lustig, come back here! He's running for that house. Crazy fool, after him, quick! Lustig, stop! Come down off of that porch! Grandpa! Grandpa! Lustig, what the devil do you think you're doing? Albert! Grandma! Grandpa, it is you. 
Blast it. What is going on here? Albert, it's, it's been so many years. How you've grown, boy. It's so good to see you. Lieutenant Lassie. Oh. Captain, uh, Grandma, I want you to meet my friends. This is Captain Black. Captain, I want you to meet my grandfather. Howdy. Any friend of Albert's is a friend of ours. How long have you been here, Grandma? Oh, a good many years. Ever since we died. Ever since you what? Oh, yes, sir. They've been dead 30 years. What? Oh, now, don't you trouble yourself. It's all right. We're alive again, that's all. Do you mean to tell me that Mars is heaven? Oh, nonsense, no. All we know is here we're alive again. And who are we to question God's infinite ways? All right. Lustig, we're going back to the ship. But, Captain, I, I want to talk to my grandpa. Oh, Lieutenant Lustig, I don't like any part of this. You'll come back with us if I have to club you and carry you. I see. Now, let's go. Heaven only knows what they've run up against back at the ship. Looks like we're being welcomed with a celebration, Captain. Celebration! They've abandoned ship. Every port is open. No guards said. You! You, Master! Hi, you, Captain. Meet my old dad. Dad, that's Captain Black. He's not a bad guy. Hingston! Uh, uh, yeah, what's it? Bring that band back. Use force if you have to. Oh, yeah. oh excuse me, sir. That's my Uncle George. Hingston! I'll be right back, Captain Uncle George. What the devil is going on here? Stand, sir. They've all found friends and relatives. Look, they're all here. Right, Captain. I found it. The whole crew is out in the crowd. But I gave orders. Captain and orders. You don't understand, Captain. I understand, Newtony. I don't care how many relatives show up. I'll have discipline. Johnny! What? Johnny, you old son of a gun. It's you. Edward. Yes. It can't be. Oh, of course it is. Johnny, Johnny, Ed. you old... Ed, what... Dr. Horst, this is my brother, Edward. How do you do? Hello, sir. It's wonderful to, to see you, Edward. <laughs> Look, I've, I've got to get back to my ship. Oh, Johnny, wait. I almost forgot. Mom's waiting at home. Mom? Yeah, and Dad, too. Mom and Dad are alive? But... Then you're real, Ed. Well, of course. Don't I feel real? How's <laughs> that, huh? <laughs> Why, Ed? Ed? <laughs> we've, we've got lunch for you, Johnny. Mom's making corn fritters. Dr. Horst, haven't you found anybody? No, no, Captain. I have nobody. Well, then you come on home with me, right, Ed? Why, sure. Horst, Horst, you wouldn't believe it. But it's been 35 years since I had Mom's corn fritters. <laughs> Bye, George. 35 years. Kitchen, so don't hold back, Johnny. You too, Dr. Horace. Well, Johnny, you're still in the Navy, huh? Eh? That's right, Dad. I'm in command of the ship. We're an old Navy family, Dr. Horace. All three of our boys in the service. Yeah, Ed was the best pilot in the Pacific, too. What did happen, Ed? Oh, what's the difference? I'm here now. Yeah, but... You know, it's almost perfect. All we're missing is your brother, Will. Then the whole family could be together. Well, it won't be long. Mom, Will's in charge of the XR-54. Next rocket coming out to Mars. Oh. Well, little Will, when does he leave, Johnny? Well, the takeoff's scheduled for September, but uh -huh. it depends on what we report. Oh, oh, yeah. There's no question about that now, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Christmas together again. That'll be something. Sure yes. will, yes, sirree. Well, uh, this calls for a celebration. How about a little of the old dandelion wine, eh, Johnny? Now, Father, don't you go giving Johnny too much wine. <laughs> He's a big boy now, Mother. Well, sir, isn't everything just done? Just done. Well, Dr. Horst, what are you doing sitting over here alone? What do you think of my little family? Very nice. You know, I can't understand why you didn't find any folks here, Dr. Horst. It's just a shame everybody else is so happy. Well, I never remembered my family, Mrs. Black. All I know is they were gassed at Dachau during the Second World War. When I was liberated, I was in delirium three months. I cannot remember anything before then. A psychiatric phenomena. Well, that's terrible. 
Isn't there anything anybody can do? I don't want to remember. I have not had a pleasant life. I prefer to be free of emotional entanglements. They interfere with a scientific approach. I'm sorry, Dr. Horst. 